I know that you have a history at Squaw Valley yeah. with your dad. Mm. Give us a recollection or two. Well, my dad used to play drums for Ralph Sutton, and they played, they were the entertainment a lot at, at uh, what was then the Squaw Valley Lodge during the Olympics in 1960, and before that even, 58, 59, 60, 61. And my dad used to play drums at Squaw Valley Lodge, and we'd stay up there for a month and, and ski. But uh, you got some great memories. Can you share some of those? Yeah, well, we had a great time there. We loved that place, you know. It's quite I, was, I mean, I grew up there. I remember with two lifts. Uh -huh. and, uh, but now it's uh, quite a different place. Yeah. Do you get a chance to, to, to ski squaw very I often? I do. I, when did I last ski squaw? Not this year, but the year before. Uh huh. Yep. And uh, you're on skis or, or snowboard? Skis. I'm a skier. That a baby. Just got to ask you, what were the two runs that you... Uh, began skiing on at Squaw Valley. Do you remember the, the yeah, two? Yeah, Squaw Peak. And then the head wall with the old head wall tram. Ah. They had the little wooden tram. You sit sideways on the tram. And the thing, you'd think it was going to break every time you drive. But it, and that, that was it, Squaw Peak and head wall. And then they put KT-22 in. That was the only other lift. That was it. And now you got things. like 30. Oh, huh? Now you got now like 30. Got the whole other bowl and the backside, none of that was it. Yeah. You, was, you had to schlep and, you know, uh -huh. cross country if you wanted to do that. That might be it. Yeah, but you'll get out this winter for another day. Yeah, well, or two. I live in Montana now. Oh. So I, I ski in Big Sky and, and Snowball and 